Ooh, boy folks, finally time to do a bit of harvesting, so we'll just do a bit of harvesting today. Show you what we end up with. So I'm going to start off with the old peas first. I think they're ready now. The Hearst Green Shops, if I can get on, I'll just show you. They usually have 10 peas in a pod. I've lost the knack of pea shelling. So let's have a little count up. The lot's only got nine. Oh dear. Anyway, that's what they like. Purse green shaft. Absolutely gorgeous. So we'll get on and get some of these picked and then we'll pick some onions and all sorts of other stuff. So that's not too shabby. Almost a bucket full of peas. So we'll get on and uh, Pick a bit of other stuff. I think I'm going to pull a few onions up, even though they're not ready. So I'll get on and pull a few of those out. I always miss a few. Well, right, folks, as you can see, the onions are nowhere near ready for pulling yet. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if they're big enough, they're big enough, whether they're ready or not. I mean, to me, that's big enough to eat. So why wait now? I might as well get them early and risk trying to store them. Because you always get a few going to rot in the store. so. Pull a few big ones now. Get another one there, that's not too bad. No, there's a bigger one than that. Pull these out. It's a couple of, couple of decent sized onions to go at, even though they're not ready. So, like I say, I'll just keep eating them. Pull them up when they're ready. One thing with this heat wave we're having at the moment, I've made some of the icebergs and things blow. These are absolutely perfect a week ago, but as you can see, Started to blow, so not really worth eating. That's probably about salvageable. Like that. So yeah, that's that'll be salvageable. So what I should do really is just start taking them like that size, just eating the heart. Because all of a sudden they just pop a pop a flower up and they start blowing. So like the uh, same with the if I can find my scissors, where have I put my scissors? Same the icebergs, getting a few of those exploding in the heat. So I might as well take these small too. What I do find with these is get loads of slugs lurking in the outer leaves. And then I've said that and there's not a single one in there. It's a nice little hearted one there for to go at. A couple of icebergs, a couple of sorry, a couple of little gems and a little iceberg. And then pick some rocket. Now this rocket, like again, this this really does go to seed. So when you get to this stage, you can just basically put where you can see it. Just take your scissors, take a great big chunk of it out. Pick all the flowery stems out. They're the tough bits. And then you're still you're still left with loads of little frilly leaves, which you can just keep picking. Like I said, I grew, I've grown far too many yet again. Like I always do, but I suppose it's better to have too much than too little. But rocket's absolutely crazy. Just keep pulling these off and pulling the leaves. We always get a really good crop of rocket. So that's the lettuce, the salad stuff. Still got plenty of these coming. These are the multi-grain, but uh, we'll try and get rid of these before they all explode, I think, first. So oh, the spring onions, grown in clumps, been growing really well. So because they're grown in clumps, you just chop a, a full clump up like that. And there we've got a lovely bunch of six decent spring onions. Take a few more, make it up to about 10. That's, that's the best thing about growing them like this. Just pull a clump up and that's it. So you grow them in groups of six to ten or whatever you like. You get a lovely clump of really decent spring onions. Harvest it as quickly as you like. And I'm just going to transplant these with some fresh ones that I'm growing in a while. Probably in a couple of weeks and then we'll have a successional... I've got three more lots growing in the garden but I should have them growing until September, October hopefully. So we'll see if I've got a little... any courgettes on my minuscule courgette plants. I don't laugh. As you can see the plants are tiny. We've got one. 
It's only a tiny one, but like I said, I'd rather take them small than not at all. So there you go, nothing to write home about, but it's two little courgettes nonetheless. So we'll see if we can harvest some of this uh, kale now, see if that's ready to go. All right then folks, we'll have a do it to picking some of this Russian red kale. It's looking dead nice, I think I'll just pull some of the fresher leaves off. It looks quite delicate, dead clean, no caterpillars on it or anything. So it looks like there's no great big stalks apart from the bottom, so it should be quite uh, tender I think. Never grown this sort before, I've grown more of the curlier, curlier stuff before. So this is new to me, see what it's like. Again, picking this early, I mean, this will be picked all winter if I don't get any pests. Never seem to get any caterpillars on it as such. The main pest I've had in the, few, in the last few years has been, of all things, white fly, and it's just decimated it. So, might as well pick it while I can before any pests get on it, just in case we do get a, a plague of pestilence. I think that should do. Should be good and healthy that, I think. <laughs> oh, keep you regular. So yeah, so that's the, the Russian red kale picked. Go and see if there's any flowers now and I think that'll be about it. Right then folks, as you can see, sweet peas have gone absolutely boom in this hot weather as well. Must admit, I do like growing them. I just like the smell of them. And they can't be, it must be one of the easiest plants to grow. If you keep picking them, that's the main thing, if you just got to keep picking them, because once you start leaving them to go to seed, stop flowering. And hopefully these will keep going well into September. The only complaint I've got with this thing is that there aren't any red ones on it for some reason. I know not why. I did only buy a plant, a pot of plants, a pot of seedlings, obviously I didn't uh, sow them. I don't think a lot of people sow their own, well maybe there are, but I never bother for a quid. But yeah, it's always nice to have a bit of colour in your garden as well, I think. So, as you can see, I'm sweating like an absolute pig. It's absolutely roasting today. I think it's a lot hotter down south. It's 28 degrees up here today, which is it's about as hot as it wants to be as well. But you can't really do it much when it's much warmer. I think it's getting on towards 30 degrees down south, which to me is a bit unbearable because I'm not used to the heat. So anyway, folks, that's just a quick little harvest for you. Hope you have a good weekend and all that thing. I'll see you later.